companies generally aren't sitting there saying, well, we're spending a few hundred million a year on AWS. So in our next contractual commitment, we're going to boost that by a hundred million because of all the gen AI. But they do care that, OK, we have a workload that effectively can run indefinitely. At what point do we hit a budget cap on that workload and then say, OK, and now this result is what we're going with? Exactly. That's what we're also seeing, too, is people look at it from that perspective of we'll change the model out. And we'll see, could this have been more cost effective in the more macro world? It's kind of a rounding error in terms of our like cloud bill today, but it now gives us the opportunity to, to understand how we can be efficient with this when we do scale, which inevitably will happen. When people are trying to figure out, does this thing even work? There, there's not even a question. They reach for the latest and greatest top tier frontier model to figure out, is this thing even possible? I really don't care all that much about cost at the current time. And that seems seems to be where a lot of folks are at with their experiments of does this even work? If it's expensive, so be it people's time and energy and the lack of focus on other things is already more expensive than this thing is going to be by far. You're right. It's very much in the stage of can we make something that works and then can we not only make it work, but does it actually provide value back? <laughs> which I think is the other big thing. It's like, this is cool, but uh, cool doesn't necessarily make or save us any money. 